Hey guys, it's Carly from Cantina Creative. Today we're going to be going over normal maps and how to use them between Cinema 4D and After Effects to change your lighting in post. What you're looking at on my screen right now is an example of a normal map. I got it from this Cinema 4D scene. Very basic scene, just a couple of lights, a key light, a fill, and an edge, and a bunch of spheres in different positions. 3D renders tend to take a long time, and if you have just a small tweak in lighting you want to make, or you want to change just one aspect of a scene, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to go back into your 3D program and render out a brand new pass every single time, and that's where the normals pass comes into use. A normals map is kind of like a bump map, but instead of using grayscale values to represent information, it uses RGB values, and these values tell Cinema 4D and After Effects the orientation of every surface normal in the scene. And with that information, you can change the light after the fact. There's two different types of normals maps. There's a tangent space and an object space. Uh, the tangent space usually shows up as a purple or a blue hue. Um, and these are really good for mesh and character animations or mesh and character renders. And the type that we're going to be using is good for objects that don't really deform and it has a slightly better performance overall than the tangent space. To send out a normals render from Cinema 4D along with your beauty pass, uh, you have to come over into your render setting, which is this button right here. I have it set up and docked. Uh, and make sure you turn your multi-pass on. Under the multi-pass options, go to material normal. And that's all that you have to do. Uh, make sure that you have everything saving where you want it to save and choose the format in which you want it saved. I'm just going to be using TIFFs for today. Uh, no reason other than that they are fast. And when you're done rendering, come on into After Effects and bring in both your normals pass and your regular image. Now there's this really cool plugin called Normality, and if you have Normality, that's awesome, and you can use it to apply your normals map wherever by using a three-dimensional light in After Effects. This tutorial is for those of us that don't have the luxury of using Normality on a regular basis, so let me take you through that really quick. We'll start off with our normals, and you're gonna drag that into its own comp. Come over into your effects and presets and go to shift channels and apply that to your map. Now we're going to need to make three different normals passes. We're going to make a red one, a green one, and a blue one. The red pass is going to represent our light moving left to right. Uh, the green pass will be up and down and the blue pass back and forth. It's really easy to remember if you use any kind of 3D software because that's what the basic setup usually is. We're going to change everything here to red and you see we get this nice grayscale image. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna duplicate these guys. Let's name this one red. Let's name this one green and this one blue. Awesome. Okay, so we'll go into our green guy and we will adjust this so that all of these read green. Now don't change your alpha. Take your alpha from your alpha. There's no reason to change that. It'll actually throw off what you're doing if you do have an alpha rendered out. So that's our green. And then let's get rid of here. Go to our blues and shift our channels to show only blue. Now this is just grabbing values from the blue channel and applying them to other channels. So it's taking the blue channel and applying it to the green, the blue and applying it to the red. So you're only getting the blue light or the green light or the red light, depending on what you're using. Come back over here and let's bring our red, green, and blue normals down. And now we get to decide if we need more light or less light. Let's say we need some C space light. You can come over here and I can change my mode to multiply. And then I can adjust my opacity to change the amount of quote unquote blue, so Z space light that we have in the scene. And I can do the exact same thing for my green and for my red using multiply. You see. And if you want to lighten an area instead of darkening it, you can use either add or screen. They do have a slightly different outcome. So here's add. And here is screen. So just a little bit softer on the screen. This has just so many applications, it's not even funny. You can use it in conjunction with some object buffers. You can add just a little bit of light over here, a little bit of light on this side. You know, you can you can mask it off, you can do whatever you need to do to get that that little bit of light or that little bit of darkness exactly where you want it. And this saves you a ton 
ton of time because you can pretty much relight full scenes from Cinema 4D in After Effects without ever having to go back into Cinema 4D and re-render. All right, this has been a quick introduction to Normals Passes from Cinema 4D to After Effects. I hope you guys find this useful and use it in some of your projects.